Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and the plugin I'm bringing you today is something I was actually asked to bring. I got a little note from somebody who is part of my Patreon. I'm supported in doing this through the Patreon that hopefully will expand outwards to be uh, comfortable and good. But I asked by somebody who is part of my Patreon whether they could have their freebie face nudge. Voila. Now here's what face nudge is, because um, it might be a little perplexing. You might not know necessarily what the deal is with this guy. Face nudge is a face rotator. Now it's not a FM broadcast processor, which is one thing that uses face rotators. It's not a phase shifter. What it is, is just what's called an all pass filter. Now that's part of reverbs. That's part of a variety of things. Um, the reason I have span here is so that I can show you that what I'll be doing with this doesn't actually affect span. I'll show you now. Now here's span, right? As I turn up face nudge, I'll be increasing a kind of you could say it was a delay, but it's an all pass filter. It's rather than doing cancellations and things, it's combining with itself in a peculiar way to change the phase of all the frequencies. It's delaying them against each other. And well, I just let you hear it. Why don't you just hear it? Now hear the difference? Hear what happened? You can see on the screen here that when you do that, the there's no crazy notches and dips in the response, and it's not really changing the tonality of anything in terms of frequency response, but it's changing the whole behavior of it very radically, like so. It's most plainly heard on that hi-hat and the guitars. They're much more dispersed. Dry and... Now, why would you do this? Well, with phase rotators, for FM broadcasting, such as that, it's even a thing anymore, um, the purpose is to change the shape of asymmetrical waveforms so that they round off again and stop having too much energy on one side of the waveform. You can plainly hear that there's a big delay in here when it's pushed to this extreme. I've got it cranked up that much just so that you can easily hear it's doing something. But what's interesting is when you use smaller amounts, then what it does is it sort of smooths and softens the texture of things. That's why I call it face nudge. It's a kind of a smear effect. It's, it's um, not EQ, because it doesn't, especially in small values, it's not changing the tone at all. Like, I'll put it up here. And you can see on the, uh, on span here, no change. No change whatsoever. But then if you pay attention to what's happening in the tonality, you can find that is very dry, but then it's making the hats go to sort of a, a hoof sound rather than just the direct impact. This is without it. So this effect is something that can be used in a number of ways. I'm not advocating using it on the the two bus. I don't see this as a mix down type effect, although I'm not the boss of you, so go ahead. I mean, if that's what you'd like to do, then feel free. But you can make uh, individual sounds like maybe synthesizer pads or whatever, 
and alter the tonality and have added something with the VST version of Face Nudge, which is here I'll push it up. Now that's softening the snare now. And then with the dry wet. Your snare is much more articulated and then There is much more diffuse. So, what you can do with the dry wet here, and I'll tell you, the reason I didn't include it in the first phase nudge was it made no logical sense as far as being a phase rotator. All it does, if you have a dry wet in there, is reduce the effectiveness of the tone, which is already fairly subtle. And at the time, it seemed like, well, this is a face rotator, so it's a tiny little piece of other circuits. Why add a thing that, first of all, Reaper has out of the box? And secondly, that um, surely you would want to use the full strength of the effect, like this. Maybe you'd want to use the full strength of that. But in talking to people, like particularly on KVR, uh, there's a lot of electronic music musicians who have a very clear understanding of how they're using um, plug-in effects. And those guys have always been very enthusiastic about dry-wet controls. And I've begun to really understand why when I started exploring what happens with those. Well, the Air Windows Face Nudge is now available as audio unit and Mac and PC VST. It's supported with the same Patreon that somebody made the suggestion to me that they would like to see this come out. And it is free other than if you want to join the Patreon and continue to see me doing this kind of stuff, because that's how you continue to see me doing this kind of stuff. I've done a lot in the couple of months that I've had this up and running. I'm committed to doing it regardless, so I'm just going to brazen right through it no matter how this works out. But I enjoy having stuff. I, en I enjoy engaging with plugins and this process and being able to do things just that I think are helpful tools. Like I've got some stuff that I'm working on um, that maybe I'm not telling you directly about right now but I'm kind of excited about them nevertheless. And it just feels really good to be doing professional level work that I did as my sole source of support for pretty close to 10 years. And then looking at it from a sort of 2000 and onward standpoint and going, what I was doing previously with the $50 plugins is not going to work for people going into the future. Increasingly, we don't operate on a basis of, oh, well, musicians and producers and DJs and stuff, they all make lots of money. <laughs> That's not reality. And you may very well say, well, Chris, you might want to be the commercial guy and sell to the people that do have a bunch of money and support only them so that they have the best tools and stuff. But maybe that's not even remotely what I want to do. I would just like to put out software that people can really use and watch them using it and know that I am making a toolkit available for the people out there who have sounds in their head that they want to get out. I mean, I just like the idea of doing that. I also like being able to eat food. I have my 20-pound bag of rice, so I'm sort of settled down for a, a rough spell there, and that's cool in its way. But at the same time that I like food and shelter and stuff like that, I really like taking care of musicians and sound engineers who might or might not 
be able to justify what they're doing in terms of pop music and getting paid a lot of money by Google or whoever. Oddly enough, those aren't the musicians that I always liked growing up. I always liked musicians who were coming from a kind of a stranger space. And sometimes those guys survived because back in the day, you know, like back in the 60s and 70s and stuff like that, record labels were willing to support a bunch of people in hopes that they would grow up and become something amazing. And that sometimes happened and sometimes it didn't happen. Record labels don't have money to do that kind of thing anymore and nobody else is going to want to. Google doesn't want to. So it looks as if if somebody is going to support bands that I grew up loving, like, oh, I don't know, Yes, King Crimson, whatever equivalent that is, Beefheart is another beautiful example. If anybody is going to be supporting the artists, I guess it's going to have to be me. And that's why I'm doing this. And enjoy Face Nudge. I hope you like it, and I hope people get... Uh, do some interesting things with the textures of their mixes and stuff using this little all-pass filter. Because that's what it is. It's an all-pass filter all by itself. In a very clean, pure kind of way. But it is still using Air Windows Mojo. It's got a console-like thing going on inside it. I hope you like it.